Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is another episode of growing mango trees from seeds. So my seedling looks okay at this point. It looks to be shedding its leaves. If you recall from earlier episodes, uh, prior to the episode, prior to this one, everything was going swimmingly. The foliage looked very lush. Then I went a very long time before updating and that was the episode prior to this one covering days 52 through 140 and not much happened but we did get leaf primordia a second set of leaves coming in which you can see at the top here um, at the shoot apical meristem so that looks promising but at the same time we're losing all these original leaves which uh, cause a lot of dismay and I'm doing this fertilization trick that I've been doing since 2016 I believe I add a crushed vitamin pill hopefully that adds micronutrients. It's not that the plant needs vitamins, it's that if it needs calcium carbonate which vitamin pills are made of or any of those trace metals this can supply it in abundance and also I'm going to supply some uh, powdered crystallized fertilizer and give it a good watering and see what happens. So I'm just crushing up the vitamin pill with my pair of pliers so it's a very cheap pair that I got for this very purpose. They're only a few dollars and um, this one doesn't seem to rust or anything. So it's a pretty good one. So ultimately I'm just going to go ahead and say that this may have been a mistake. All this over fertilization as some people say maybe my problems, my woes are due to overcare or just micromanaging uh, things like nutrients and watering. And regarding watering, I did way too much of that in late fall and early winter, you know, going from 2017 through 2018, because I got a new water distiller and it was producing a lot more water instead of six and a half hours to distill a batch of water. It was four and a half, which enabled days where I could do it twice. And the reason I use distilled water is because it's just pure, it doesn't have uh, chlorine or chloramine in there to kill any microbes. I'm going to supply these pots from the California wild hill, hill dirt that I got in many episodes I've been covering going into the end of 2017 if you recall. So this isn't actually a lot of water and maybe that's part of the problem because the fertilizer is very concentrated at the top so I have no idea whether I'm fertilizing watering too much or too little so this is a weather report I haven't done this before but it's just the Windows 10 weather app and as you can see this is a very mild winter you can see two days of rain coming ahead if I recall this is me uh, narrating voicing over from the future and this is in Celsius I think those were the only two days we got rain in my memory for the greater San Diego County area in the winter of 2017 slash 2018. So it's been a very, very mild winter. It's very warm even at night compared to most other places. There's been no snow or anything. Just very little precipitation in the beginning of 2017. The California drought basically ended with a lot of torrential downpours with some areas in the northern Sierra Nevada seeing 200 inches of rain by February, jungle levels of rain. So it's day 185 and all the original leaves are gone. I mean physically some of them are there but it doesn't really matter at this point. You can see one right there. They shed and then they blow off like this one because there's a lot of wind sometimes in San Diego. So they just go all over the place. Then I have to pick them up and dispose of them. But you can see all of these remaining attached leaves are on their way out. So I'm not going to bother cutting them, although I'm going to deal with these tendrils from its neighbor, passion fruit vine, which I pruned massively in the latest episode prior to this. So I don't want those coiling around and choking off my mango seedling. And I think I'm just going to spin this pot around because everything's been cleared up now in the balcony rail. There's a lot more sunlight coming in. But it's winter, so a limited amount of sunlight is received by all these plants anyway before the sun goes down 
uh, below that hill, behind that hill, you see in many of my videos by 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. So these leaves are a lost cause. The second set of leaves coming in still look pretty fresh, but they're just not really growing. So that's a uh, really big problem. And I'm just spinning this around to get it further away from the passion fruit vine. And I hope this little bit of extra sun will do wonders. And if not, we're going to have to do a lot of troubleshooting. Uh, please feel free to leave comments. Uh, my channel is expanding at a rate uh, faster than ever before. And I've never had to deal with so many comments. Uh, sometimes I just don't have the energy to respond to everything so I'll just like your comments and you'll see that but uh, I don't have time to write out a thoughtful paragraph to everyone but I appreciate all the comments and input and definitely appreciate and feel honored by all the traffic that I've been getting so if I don't get back to you personally even after a few weeks it's nothing personal it just means I don't have the time and energy no offense so it's been a while and these leaf primordia for the second set of leaves aren't doing too hot seems like the tips are burning maybe it's because of the fertilization that i did at the beginning of this video which would be very disturbing because i don't think there's any way i can undo that right now even if i did a large flush of water or or can i so if you have any comments on that um Please uh, provide some directives for what I can do to ameliorate the situation. So let's see. Yeah, a uh, mango leaf fell in here. This one was actually quite green uh, before it detached, which is kind of worrisome because usually I expect them to become fully yellow or brown before they fall off and have this burned appearance. So there's just a lot of debris being generated by both this and the passion fruit vine and I have to keep doing stuff like this and keep vacuuming. So otherwise than that I haven't watered in a very long time. It's been maybe close to a month, literally four weeks. So I'm kind of apprehensive about how dry this is getting. The top looks really dry but the bottom uh, of the s soil on the edge looks moist it looks dark and I'm wearing a glove here because digging around creates a huge mess and then I have to touch my uh, phone which serves as a camera but anyway this is seemingly moist enough so it's day 193 and I haven't watered any more since then it's been another eight days and the situation looks dire I'll be honest it looks like I'm going to lose all of these leaves very soon. There's no need to cut them off because uh, they're just going to shed in a few days, I feel. The base of that trunk looks a little white. So the trunk itself looks green and lush, but what we have here are several uh, seemingly burned uh, leaf primordia. They don't look as healthy as they did at the beginning of this episode. So that's really worrisome. So at this point, I'm at a total loss as to what to do. I was thinking if it's over fertilized, I can just keep watering with a showering pail. Uh, maybe do some kind of measured amount like one, two or even three liters and see if that helps dilute the nutrients that are surrounding the roots of this. Or would that just drown everything? I really don't know. At this point, I'm watering just a limited amount. This is probably just 100 or 200 mLs at best, probably 100. That's not a lot at all in just the base of this trunk. So I'm hoping that there is some kind of response. If it gets worse, obviously water is not the problem. If it gets better, then maybe I should do some deep watering and then let it dry out for another month or so and hope that that will have flushed out some excess nutrients so this thing can recover. Otherwise, it looks like I'm going to lose this and the series will end involuntarily, which would be terrible. I want this to continue and have a great 2018, but it looks like it might not happen. So, uh, yeah, just please uh, 
provide some input in the comments and we'll see what we can do going forward. Thanks for watching.